Hey Ross World, my money makes money. How can you succeed being where you're from? I'm trying to figure out what he's getting to, right? So here's the thing. I'm from Southeast DC. Growing up, we never really had a good role model. Now granted in my house, I had an uncle who actually had two jobs. He was probably the best role model that I've ever had because he actually had a job. Now, growing it in that neighborhood, and we're talking about all the major cities around the world, whether you're in Florida, you're in Georgia, you're in LA, you're in Washington, you're in South, no, probably not a major city in South, I'm not ragging on anyone from South Dakota, but the point I'm making is this, if you don't have a role model, if you don't have a mentor, how can you succeed from where you're from? Because it's quite daunting, it's quite frightening for someone to get outside of their neighborhood and it doesn't matter your ethnic, it doesn't matter your race. What matter is the examples that are presented in front of you. How are you to get out of a situation where you have no role models? Well, granted, let me, let me give you the other perspective. You have role models, they're just not the right ones. They're negative role models. They're the dope pushers, they're the dope users. They're the one who, uh, uh, grand larceny, they're the one who steal cars, break into houses, and sell at the nearest pawn shop. These are the role models that we don't need. And But these are the role models that a lot of us have grown up and seen and mimic, okay? And in some cases, I am not a, I am not a saint, I am not an angel. I have done some things I cannot say on video. It's getting hiding. But the point I'm making this, how do you succeed from being from where you're from and the only thing you ever seen is negativity? You've seen deaths, people get killed, people get shot. All of those negative images enter in your mind entering your thoughts. How do you overcome such a situation? How do you overcome such an environment? Education, books. But see, I said it easily because I did it, but it was hard. Because it was hard to pick up a book. It was hard to do something other than watch TV. It was, it's hard to do something other than self-medicate. Okay, because why isn't it certain neighborhoods that there's a liquor store on every corner as well as a church? Because some entities want you to stay medicated. They, want, they don't want you to understand how to invest. They don't want you to understand how to get out of debt. They want to keep you in debt because if they keep you in debt, they keep you down. They keep you where you are. They keep you in your place. Education and understand finances is the freedom of life. Because if you understand the way money works, woo, woo, if you understand the way money works and you understand that you have a brain and you use it as Hobson said, Hobson is a lyrical rapper, you can look him up on YouTube, H-O-P-S-I-N Hobson. He talks about using his brain. A lot of us don't use our brain. You know what we do? We go right to social media and we type in whatever we need to know and we don't troubleshoot, we don't troubleshoot, we don't do anything to critically think our way out of a situation, wherever it may be. Now granted, there's some things you just need to read and learn. There's other things that you probably need to figure out while all the time re referring to the internet, uh, a search engine, or even social media to help you to do. Get your mind to work instead of being a dummy and looking it up and have somebody to always show you. How do you succeed being from where you're from? Because where you're from is low impoverished, right? Where you're from is infested with roaches and ants and all sorts of in in insects. Where you're from, you see no good images of the male and female in the home. But how do you succeed and succeed for your family? Education and finances. Because education is going to make you want to learn about finances. Because once you learn about finances... Can't nobody tell you nothing because even if you're working at the little corner store making $10 an hour, you can flip that $10 and make $100. And you can flip that $100 and make $1,000. So don't think that right now you're not making a lot of money. Are you managing your money correctly? See, if you have your mind 
have your thoughts and all your well-being together and you're from a low impoverished neighborhood and you know people who are still hurting, try to talk to them. I know. They tunnel vision. They, they're, they're trapped into a conundrum. They can't see out. But you may have to lead them out. You may have to show them out. You may have to show them that there's a light because they can't see the light. Because when you're in the environment, I couldn't see the light. I could not see the light. But I remember Boys and Girls Club took me on a trip to go caving or spelunking. I never did that. that I, I didn't even know what it was. I had an awesome time. That one venture, okay, that one excursion opened my mind up to make me do all sorts of other things, okay? I can snowboard, I can ski, certified uh, scuba diver, blah, 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 uh, summit Mount Rainier here in Washington State. I'm just giving you a few things because being where I'm from, being where I'm from, you get that one? Being from where I was from, there was no way that I was gonna be here talking to you today and tell you the things that I've actually done. There's no way. I had a mentor by the name of Dirk Goddard. He was a ex-pro football player that played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I think back in the 80s. He worked at the Boys and Girls Club and he showed me the way out. I was stupid, I was stubborn, I was a knucklehead. I did nothing right. But he took a chance on me. I'm not doing outstanding, but I can tell you what I'm not doing. I ain't doing nothing that's breaking the law. So. If you know somebody that you can help to help them with education and finances, understand that when you're outside of that neighborhood and you look back in, you say, look at them fools and you used to be one. Don't look at them. Go help them. This is Ross World. Hopefully this message hasn't rubbed anyone the wrong way because this is all about positivity and helping somebody out simply by giving them keys to success. Don't, you don't have to give them your money. Give them your time. Give them your mouth. Give them positivity. Give them information. Tell them where to go in order so they can live a better life just like you. This is Ross where my money makes money. And hopefully, when you teach them, theirs do too. I'm out.